All right, here I am, James P. Madonna, Mega Life 21, Progressive Discussions. I'm here at the, um, the lovely and wonderful Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Satterbrook, New Jersey. Um, it is Good Friday, 2019. It's, yes, the Holy Week is here, and I'm going to get some duck, which appears to be succulent, I think. I don't know if it's succulents, succulents of uh, fat and skin and bone, but it looks, uh, man, it looks okay. I give it a shot. All right. I just want to give a shout out to that wonderful store, 99 Cent Ranch in Hackensack, New Jersey. I believe it's a nationwide chain. I did uh, a couple videos yesterday uh, about it. Okay, let's see. Do I want to get chow mein fun yet? Not yet. Cockle clams from the cockles of my heart. Uh, oh, they just put out fresh cod. They just put out fresh cod filet. Uh, let's see, bacalao, yeah, before there was nothing, but it's very popular. So I will, uh, thank you, sir. I will get some. Scrod cod filet. For a surf and turf consisting of cod and roast duck. The duck that's out of luck, of course. But look how fast it is. The fish is going on Good Friday. But look at that. This looks really good. Commodore Jeff Zambella. Look at that. The Zupa de Mar, the broth of the sea. All right. We're going to go through a lot of cod here. Let's see. Steak and onions. Uh, it might be well done, though. I don't know. Uh, you know what? He marinates his meat, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot. Do I have room? I don't know, Jeff Sambo. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna have to, it's gonna be a challenge getting around everything. Get some nice uh, onions. Gonna have to get a second dish and transfer it. There you go. That is quite a heap and helping of surf and turf uh, on Good Friday, 2019. Yesterday was Holy Thursday when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. And, uh, okay. Now, well, you know how, how it is. Uh, a lot of people don't, do not eat meat, but I just couldn't resist what I saw. Uh, I don't even know if that observance is uh, still uh, respected in today's uh, Christianity. It might be just Catholicism about the, uh, the refraining from uh, meat. Uh, what is this, turkey? Oh, look at this, bless their hearts, turkey. I bet I don't have any more room on my plate. Turkey breast, too. Well, with any luck, maybe it'll put out more. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky. Uh, there's the beautiful lamps. Okay, I and got some Chinese food here. General Tzu's chicken. General Chen, whatever, whoever he was, if he was a real general, I have no idea. Commodore Jeff Zambello and Exorcist Bishop Brian, the star of the Travel Channel show Ghost Adventures. Give a shout out to Exorcist Bishop Brian as well as Jeff Zambello. Hey, the ice cream is uh, full and uh, it's not it's not messy, which is good. Sometimes it gets messy. All right. All right, I see papaya, I believe. 
I see papaya and mango. Oh, I gotta get I gotta get a shot of this. I gotta get a shot of this, man. Look at this. Look at this. Here's your papaya. Oranges. And there's the mango, all right? There's the mango. There's the kiwi fruit. With the shaved head like Larry Fine from the Three Stooges. On the top, see? Well, except. Except Larry Fine was bald. He didn't have a shaved head, but. And here we have uh, New Zealand green lip mussels. And a decent amount of uh, calamari, it looks like, in the seafood salad. But I will come back and get the lemons. Okay. But I do need a steak knife, though. I do need a steak knife. Somebody tried to trying to sit in my uh, on my um, table there. I don't know what's going on, but uh, let me get the cobalt blue or midnight blue bowl. I'm trying to get busy now. I'm gonna have to get what I need. How you doing? Hey, how you, how you been? Good. All right, I'm gonna have to get what get the lemons, and I would have to retreat quickly to the sanctity of my nice private table. And of course, the lemons again are behind the pole. Jeff Zambello, they're behind the pole. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's fate, or is it a conspiracy against James P. Madonna? I don't know. I don't know. Is, is it the fickle finger of fate, Jeff Sambell? You know we are nothing but barnacles on the dinghy of life. You know that, Jeff. All right. I'm going to need enough for my water and for the codfish. Steak knife in hand and lemons. But I have to remember, I have to remind myself it is a holiday, uh, holy uh, weekend. What kind of holiday you want? What? What? Just what? Yeah. Ugh. Oh, yeah. This is the rough. Oh, this is my favorite napkin, the rough kind. Doesn't it doesn't break apart when you use it. You know all these all these people they go out and they buy soft paper towels and soft toilet paper and uh, you know and, and soft napkins and what happens when they use it? It breaks apart. You end up with dingleberries in your butt and you know. All right, so there there we have a there we have a nice bird's eye view. Of course, the children are very unruly and undisciplined, as you can hear in the background. All right. I'm going to set this up for a nice photo opportunity, which is a lot nicer than a political photo opportunity. Okay, let's see, what am I going to do now? No, no hardcore sushi yet. Um, there he is, there's the king, very busy man this Good Friday, 2019, King of Mongolian Barbecue, with him. Jeff Zambello, the Vapors of Life. The Vapors of Life, look at that. He's, he's now juggling with uh, four separate orders. Four separate orders. Look at that busy guy. I hope he receives a sufficient amount of uh, propina. Tip. Oh, there's one finished product. Look at all that shrimp. Shrimp. 
I believe beef and mushrooms. Look at this more. This one is shrimp, beef, and uh, angel hair uh, rice noodle. Wow, look at, look at on the other side. They're almost du duplicates, really. Shrimp and beef combinations. Some with noodles and some without noodles. Good. The vapors of life. Only here at Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, out of Brooklyn, Jersey. This is Holy Week 2019. It happens to be Good Friday. Good Friday 2019. Now, the man is extremely busy. I hope they they take care of him with sufficient fair amounts of propina, otherwise otherwise known as a tip. Okay. Now back to me. Um, let's see. The, oh wow! The um, all that seafood bouillon base is sure went right away. Look at it. It was so loaded before. Here's the codfish. Codfish is a big hit. Shows you how busy it is. Look. Turkey? Well, yeah, but is it tender? Hold on. Is it tender? Oh, excuse me. Definitely, definitely busy here. Oh, I'll try. I'll try some. I'll try a slab of uh, turkey. I need to scoop up some of that juice, but I need to do it in a nice way, you know. Uh, without getting scolded. I'm going to have to come back with... Um, I don't know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? I don't know what to do. i got to figure out a way to get it. Without getting yelled at. Um, I don't know. I have to maybe come back with a clean spoon. Excuse me. It's going to be a trick. It's going to definitely be a little trick for me. Yeah, I got to come back with a spoon to get some of that, that juice. Oh, yeah. Okay, this might work. This might work. Uh, this might work. It's not the broth of the sea. It's the broth of the gobble. Commodore Jeff Sambo. Drippings. Drippings. That sounds a little erotic, right, Jeff Simbo? All right. Now, oh, let's see. What am I going to put on the side? I could have put mashed potatoes, but that would fill me up. And um, that would not have been a wise choice concerning um, a buffet. See what kind of soup they have. Vegetable soup? No, for peasants. Hot and sour soup? It's good if you have a cold, but yeah, it's still peasant food. 
chicken and rice? Oh, definitely, definitely for, for the common folk. Definitely for, oh, oh, look at this crab soup. That's, that's right. That's what I'll have as a side dish, crab soup. And I will pick a crab-like, a crab colored bowl. If you want to call it a crab colored bowl, at least when the crab is cooked, it turns pink. Oh, stir the bottom. Bishop, Exorcist Bishop Brian and Commodore Jeff Zambello. Always stir the bottom of all soups before you scoop it. And the same thing goes for all you, you imbeciles out there, you jabronis, you neophytes. You hear what I'm saying? You, you numbskulls out there that don't know the, don't know the uh, wisdom of my words. All right, that's my side dish. It's sort of a a strange um, surf and turf for the first time. I've never done this before, but uh, it's a sperm in a moment decision. I mean, spur in a moment. I'm sorry. For uh, Good Friday, uh, 2019, a nice thick slab of turkey breast with drippings on it as my um, turf and crab soup soup as my surf. Now I shall retreat to the table. Boy, what, what a bunch of pusses on these people walking around. No sense of humor, no smile. It's like dealing with Lurch from the Adams Family. Remember when he used to answer the door? Oh my God, people are incredible. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, develop a damn personality. You jabronis out there. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go side by side. Here we got the surf and turf of crab soup and a thick chicken breast. I mean turkey breast, I'm sorry. A thick slab of turkey breast. I don't care if people are watching me. They're all, you know, people, you know some, some folks don't have any pizzazz or charisma for, for show business, you know. What are you going to do? And here we have whatever papaya spears were left and a, a fresh pineapple. gonna have to set this up for a photograph <laughs> okay for the very finest and buffalo chicken hot wings especially to go in bulk come to Royal Hibachi Buffet Route 46 West Saddlebrook New Jersey come in and stock up for your sporting events private parties at home it could be any sport events hockey basketball professional wrestling boxing mma baseball football regardless come in and get the finest buffalo hot chicken wings to go for your private parties. At the Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Okay, now I'm gonna partake in some flan. a slippery eel for God's sakes it's like a slippery eel of course there's people breathing down my neck behind me waiting right and I'm gonna I'm gonna get some ice cream as you can see the little kids messed it up they got this uh, radioactive blue cotton candy ice cream on the vanilla because the Parents let the kids run around and do anything they want. That's the problem. They mess it all up. Aliana, Aliana. It's unbelievable. This one is not too bad, the yellow one. 
unbelievable. You know, they let the they let the kids mess it up. This is modern day parenting. If I did that when I was a kid, I would have gotten knocked out. No spoons. No spoons. No more spoons. All right. I would have got my ass knocked out if I would have done what these these damn kids do nowadays. Well, I have to I have to eat the flan. I can't couldn't get the ice cream because the people were rudely pushing their way in. This guy over here and his wife. Right? They messed up the ice cream. They're trying to if I didn't have an injury, I'd knock his ass out. I'm telling you right now. One punch. I don't like rude, discourteous people. It's one thing I don't like. Well, let me tell you something. It ain't gonna happen once... Once my, um... My muscle, um, spasm is gone. That's for sure. This guy, this, this guy over here. Push this guy, rude, rude, rude bastard. One shot, just one shot to the jaw. That's all. That's all I need. There's the same kid, unsupervised. They let him dig into the ice cream with no adult supervision. It's the same exact kid over and over again. I mean, the kid is slim. He's not a fatty arbuckle, but you know. They're not supposed to have young children unsupervised in someone else's place of business, just, you know, doing whatever the hell they want. I mean, if I did that when I was his age, I would have gotten knocked out. Guaranteed. Old-fashioned discipline, you know? Okay, after the flan, I decided to have... See, put vanilla ice cream over papaya. All right. That should be good for dessert, healthy dessert, right? A little vanilla ice cream over papaya. Papaya is very good for the stomach. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Oh, this is a mess, man. This is an absolute, this is an absolute mess. Uh, I guess that's vanilla, I don't know what. Nah, I, I, I use this for a reason. I guess that's vanilla. Well, that's coffee. Showing me the ice cream scoop. Little did I know why I'm using this. Okay. It's not. It's not something that I can publicly announce. Publicly announce. I'll tell you one thing. If I did what. If I did what the kids did here when I was their age, I already got knocked out. Thank you. <laughs> Big time. That's another talk show. <laughs> Whammo. No, no hesitation.
This has been a Mega Life 21 production.